The prison program you're about to view consists of strong subject matter such as rape, gang fights, stabbings, police corruption, and extortion. Due to the nature and language of the program, viewer discretion is advised. Prison X is back with new and more shocking episodes. The stories that are retold are 100% real-life experiences from ex-cons that made it out of prison alive. These untold stories of slashings, rapes, assaults, extortion, and gang violence cover penitentiaries as far north as upstate New York to the Midwest states of Indiana, Texas, and Detroit, southern states like Georgia, Alabama, Memphis, and Florida to as far west as California. These are the stories that have taken place in jails all across America. Welcome to Prison X. The jails I've been incarcerated in range from Nassau County Correctional Facility to Suffolk County Correct Riverhead Correctional Facility, and then my state time was spent at Downstate and then Fishkill Correctional Facility in upstate New York. My DIN number was 05A3802. I, the longest I ever did my prison bid was three straight um, and then 14 months on parole. But I've done a total of six and a half years in, you know, a bullet here, eight months here, eight months there, three months here, three months there for various, uh, you know, offenses against society. Enter prison in 2000, enter jail before prison, before my conviction in 2004. I was 22 years old and I'm a white kid. I was a white inmate. I still am white now, which automatically set me to be a target. I was in felony dorms with people who are predominantly black and Spanish who view white inmates as weaker and they want to take your property, take your shoes, take your commissary. Um, I'm a troublemaker. I start fights. I like fighting. I I've got knife wounds from my throat to my back to my face to my arms from constant issues with people. So that was nothing new to me. Um, once I, once it was seen that I have a, a big mouth and I like to hit people first, it, uh, problems spiraled from there. So what happened with this particular incident was that in the, this was in the satellite, it's called in Nassau. I was awaiting trial and it was a felony dorm. Everyone in there had a felony. I went to go bring my laundry because in Nassau you have washing machines if you don't want to use the laundry service, which I don't, not using the laundry service. What was it? Um, I brought my clothing over to put online to wait for the washing machine to be open. And this kid, I don't remember his name. He was, we didn't speak. He was a blood. He was about, I don't know, 23, 24, told me, you can't use it. Got into, well, what? What do you mean I can't use it? You can't use it, not allowed to use it, you're white. White boys don't get to fucking wash their clothes. Go fuck yourself, motherfucker. I'm using the motherfucking washing machine. Which escalated to him then giving me his version of what was going to go on in that dorm unsuspectingly and not knowing my history and being incarcerated as long as I've been told me that I wasn't allowed to use the showers, I couldn't use the televisions, and I couldn't use the TV because I was of Caucasian descent, which told me to tell him to go fuck himself, and uh, I'm using all of that, and now we're going to battle over it. So I went and put my shoes on, I invited him in my cell, and I slaughtered him. I slaughtered him bad. We started fist fighting, and um, he caught me with one or two shots, but I closed the distance on him, grabbed him, and smashed his head into the wall, and just pummeled him, pounded him. I broke his fucking nose. I broke his eye socket. I bit him, bit a chunk out of his fucking arm. He was screaming. The corrections officers at Nassau County came running in, who happened to be his friends, because they were blood also, because they were from his town. And I got put on keep lock. I got maced. I've been maced over three times in my fucking life by pigs. Um, 
and I was given keep lock for that. No charges were pressed on me for the violent assault, which is good because that could have been a serious one. But it, it set the pace that I had an issue with bloods now in every dorm I went into and with Nation of Islam, um, the NOI, the God bodies they're called, them and me got into it. So when I was moved from that dorm to another dorm, it's all blood. The word was already out, he beat up so-and-so. Um, there was racial issues behind that because I was white and I don't keep my mouth shut about things. And there was no, and there is no real white presence in New York State prisons. It's mostly heroin addicts and child molesters. I'm not a heroin addict, I'm a child molester. Don't have any backup. From creator and producer James Billings. My name is Eric. You just watched Prison X and that was my story. Next time on Prison X. And it, I guess his girl or his sister, whoever it was, they ended up hearing it. He took it real personal. So him and Curtis Sellies. But Kurt's a big black nigga from Brooklyn, just a lightweight ass Spanish cat from the Bronx. So he start working out. Remember, it's a year process. He working out, lifting weights. We seeing his body change. Like, yeah, he getting it in, little nigga. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get it in. Interested in telling us your story? Email us at industrymuscle at gmail.com.